Hello there and welcome back to Divinity Original Sin 2. I'm Lazy Bones, and on the last episode, yes, yes, we finally, finally got off the island, the island, and we're on this boat. We're on a boat, again. This time, minus a kraken, hopefully, hopefully no krakens appear again. And, uh, well, we have to find a way to get this ship to move, uh, because there's this magic wood that this ship is made out of that I guess you need some sort of password from a book. And, uh, off camera, I looked around, I talked to everybody, and there's only two things left, uh, that we need to do. <clears throat> One, we need to talk to Alexander. Two, we need to go to the... What's it called? The mast? The little thing at the front of the ship with the dragon on it? I think that's what it's called. I don't know. I'm not, I'm not a ship boat person. But anyway, let's talk to the guard. See what the problem is. And, uh, figure out... Hey, no! Stop moving, Constance! Oh, she's taking... She's seated. There we go. Constance! Narrator, the Seeker has removed one of her gauntlets in order to flex her wrist. It bears inflamed marks from where shackles bit into her. She sees you. We talked to her already. What's with this stuff again? Constance. You must be star starved for company to linger around here, friend. Question, if Alexander's come around at all, you have a lot to say to that bastard. Tell her to open the gate. You want to find out if the prisoners know how to get this ship moving. Well, first, let's ask. Uh, I want to talk to the bastard. Has he come around? You and half of Revlon with Tekron, friend. But no, he hasn't made a sound. He'll be in for a rude awakening when he does come to. Tell her to open the gate. Oh, this is a bad idea. Open the gate! Good luck getting anything out of either of them. Our special guest is out cold, and the other one ain't in much of a talking mood say that you have to try and demand that she unlock the gate i demand all right then just don't make me regret it hint oh uh, no <sighs> right wake up damn it Bishop Alexander, Alexander, Bishop Alexander, Alexander, lies prone on a bare wire cot. Though unconscious, his eyes are only half closed. His swollen jaw hangs open at an odd angle. Hey, I was able to do this in the last episode from outside the cage. What's what's up with this? What the heck? We did this stuff already. Yeah, we we looked at his face. We looked at his stuff. We looked at his regalia. He wouldn't do this, but I know who would. Hey, wait. What was that? Sybil would. Yes, yes. Mm-hmm. The gem sits heavily in your pouch. Okay. <gasps> Journal updated. Oh my gosh. Can we close this now? Old man Lazy Bones was looking away. He's like, I won't see you steal. Um. Okay, guard. I guess you want to stay in there. It's fine by me. Oh, she's like, no. Oh, journal. Oh, that's not the journal. It's over here. 
Whoa, we have not looked at any of these. Uh, okay. I think it's this one. Fort Joy completed. Um, hmm, which one is... Oh, no, this is Fort Joy. Okay. Blessings from afar. Oh, it's completed. Finding Emmy. Uh, fate. Where's the death? I've been, been messed with. <laughs> his nickname is, uh, with too many times. That's his nickname. With too many times. Because then <laughs> you, you have to say, I've been, been messed with too many times. <laughs> oh, that was lame. Lady O' War. I think this is the ship. Uh, yes, it is. Still, uh, still unconscious. Alexander turned out to be in possession of a rather peculiar gem. I decided to borrow it. One never knows when such a trinket might come in handy. Mm hmm. Interesting. Uh -huh. Okay. Wait a minute. Who has the gem? Sybil? Oh. Mm-hmm. Wait a minute. Oh, it's right here. Oh. Strange gem. An odd black gem found on the person of Alexander. Shiny and smooth as a mirror. You can see your reflection distorted in it. And it's worth so much. Er, I like. I like. Oh, by the way, this was the dagger I wanted to show you guys. Look at this thing. It's amazing. I love it. Anyway. Let's try... Hmm. I looked everywhere on this ship. When I was talking to this guard, she said that there was a place below deck where they kept the prisoners. But uh, there's no below deck. Could there be a secret hatch somewhere? And then there's this thing. I've already talked to it. You need the book, I guess, to get in there with the password. Oh, this is new. Oh, the door remains unmarked. I did all this stuff. I even did this. But you have to have something else, which I'm assuming is this. So, hold the gem you took from Alexander out towards the door. <gasps> Magic shell. The anguished face appears once more. It dips its forehead towards you and waits. <gasps> Back away. Hold the gem to the six-sided shaped carve, shape carved in the figure's forehead. Sure. A shudder of pleasure wrecks the figure in racks, racks the figure in the door. <laughs> it seems to breathe. Of a sudden, all anguish is gone. It gives you the sternest of looks. Of a sudden. I think they meant all of a sudden. Continue. Port side stateroom door. Uh, the horse. <laughs> this is like my standard go to inanimate object, uh, sentient thing voice i am summoned speak the password <gasps> fortitude <clears throat> yes and yes again the word is spoken welcome to the state room and <gasps> yes yes we, we're in <gasps> Ooh, that means i can most likely access treasure Oh wait, there's this cat. Wonder what happens. Oh boy, I'm nervous. <gasps> Dallas is the. Oh, oh, oh wait, who's this? Oh, I can't zoom it. And the Red Prince, his dial. Okay. <laughs> uh hmm. Just one more moment, please. Continue. He clicks together two halves of some type of gauntlet sitting in his lap and turns his full attention to you. And there, rescued at last, am I? To whom do I owe my thanks? Say that you... How is it? Hmm. Okay, anyway. Say that you and your 
compatriots have seized this ship from the magisters and demand to know who he is. Ask what he's doing. Is that armor he's working on? Reach for your weapon. Hmm. Hmm. I would say he's blunt enough to say this. Uh, We've sieged the ship from the Magisters. And who the hell are you? I'm a prisoner, of course. Do you think I'd be sitting here calmly if I was a Magister? Hold out. That infernal Dallas woman left me trapped here. Too weak to escape. It seems I'm in your debt. Point out that prisoners aren't usually held in the master cabin. Why was he here? I don't know where he was here. Or he was Dallas's little. <laughs> Ask what Dallas did to him. Tell him that the ship is immobile. Does he know what might be causing that? Ask about the armor that he's tinkering with. Something he took from the Magisters? He spent time with Dallas. Ask what he can tell you about her. Hmm. Red Prince, what would you say? Hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I think he would mm, ask this. I personally want to know a lot more, but it's not the Red Prince. I think this is his goal. Red Prince, let's say this. The, uh, ship's not moving. Do you know what's causing it? Dallas didn't tell me anything if I could avoid it. If she could avoid it. But I did overhear her practicing an ancient lizard dialect that might ring a bell with you. Might it? Lizard, note that when sung, certain dialects of your mother tongue can be used to control slaves. Hmm. Tell him to spit out whatever it is that he's insinuating. There's no time for guessing games. Well, every time I get a chance to do exactly what his character is, I'm going to do it. So this. My thoughts exactly. Curious how Dallas would seek to learn such things. Don't you think? Perhaps she's left with... Wait, what? Perhaps she left something behind to point to her intentions. Point out that prisoners aren't your own. Ask about it. Uh, well? Hmm. Take a leave. That's all he cares to know. But the old man Lazy Burns wants to know more. Hello, friend. Greetings! You must be another one of the new arrivals. It seems I owe you all my freedom. He... Oh, he, he ceases tinkering with some kind of mechanism that lies in his lap and gives you his full attention. There we go. I'm super curious. Um, what did uh, <laughs> Dallas do to you? I'm hoping... <laughs> Uh, some good things, yeah. Why, torture? What else? Mm, yeah, I like that. <laughs> Gross! He. Wait, what? Gross. He extends his arm. BDSM! He extends his arm and pushes up the sleeve. Beneath. Beneath. The skin is withered and discolored, as if it were magically decayed. She used some form of domination device on me. Forcing my hands to do her bidding, and half ruined them in the purpose. Express your sympathies. Ask what exactly she had him do. Exactly? What sort of <laughs> domination thing did uh, she do? <laughs> I have particular skills that she sought. Healing, crafting and more arcane magical practices. She had me enchant a dead cat, for instance, 
so it would uh, seem alive. He clicks the gauntlet into place around his withered forearm, his eyes on you the whole time. Creepy. But that damn contraption that she used on me, it seems to have fogged my memory. The rest is a blur. Remark that memory loss is very convenient. There must be more. Note that the dead are restless of late. Did he resurrect the cat? Well, that's what he just said. That's very convenient to uh, memory loss, sir. Trust me, convenient is the last word. I'd use to describe the experience. Pass me that copper wire there, would you? Pass him the wire. Hold the wire out of reach and say that you want to hear a proper ending to his story first. Dang it, fine, here's the wire. He takes the copper wire with a nod of gratitude. His sleeve slips back above his uh, elbow. In its crook, you see part of a tattoo, a pattern of cons concentric circles rendered in black. Perhaps my memory will come back with time. But for now, I'm afraid there's little more I can add. Say that you don't believe him, shrug and turn to other matters. Hmm. Say so that you've been mulling over a story and that you've decided that he's hiding something. Tell him that the ship is immobile. He doesn't know much. Ask what the armor. Yeah, what's with the uh? What's uh, with the armor there, pal? Took it? No, no. I made it. Have you seen the kind of metalwork the magisters deploy? This is a different class to them metalworks. As I said, the magisters left me weakened, but this will help. Give me the strength to carry on my work. Say that you've been no, no telling me no, no, it's been to, oh. What uh, can you tell me about Dallas? Despite what she did to me, I can't help but admire the woman a little. She's unwavering. She will break before she bends. If you cross paths with her, be sure to break her. I doubt you will get any another chance. Mm hmm. You know what? I think you're hiding something. I'm doing my utmost to be civil to you. Under rather trying circumstances. Why must you push me like this? Declare that you that you can sense he is he has secrets. That makes him dangerous in your eyes. I have a lot of secrets too. <laughs> Shrug and state that trusting strangers is a good way to wind up dead in your view. Remark that his strange manner, his abilities, his tattoos, something doesn't add up. He's holding back on you. Hmm. Something just doesn't add up. I'm more than a, than a sum of my parts, friend, indeed. But I fear you might have come to the wrong calculation about me. How about you just let this matter rest? Oh, Red Prince, continue. Okay. Red Prince, enough have died so that we could get this far. I do not want to provoke more violence, really. If this one was enslaved by Dallas, then he could still be under her thrall. We can't risk keeping him around. Oh, this is like a huge fork in the road. I really don't think he's against violence. I think he wants more violence. He's a supposed conqueror, prince, guy? Oh, man. Oh, I guess the Red Prince, he would say this. 
he would yeah. We can't risk keeping him around. Oh, Sybil. Anyone who faced enslavement deserves our sympathy, not our blades. Leave him. She, he seems dangerous. Let's slit his throat. She was a slave. And she's killing all the people that were involved in her sl enslavement. I think she has sympathy for other people that were in her shoes. Whatever sympathy she may have. I think she would say this. Maybe. But she does like killing people. trying to think didn't she kill a guy who was also a slave and hmm I think I have that wrong I think she'll say this he deserves us anyone who's ever been enslaved deserves our sympathy not our blades leave him hmm no sh Something tells me that he'll only bring us woe, but I don't want to judge him just because of a feeling. Not just yet. There's something wrong with him. I just know it. Kill him. Kill him now, before he can harm us. Uh, I think she'd say this. Let's not judge him too early. Not just yet. Hmm... All right then, the Seekers trust you, and I shall too. I offer my hand in friendship. I don't like the look of you, so I'm afraid your time has come. You can go the easy way or the hard way. If the Seekers trust you, I shall too. He takes your hand in his gauntlet clad fist and shakes it. There's a lot more power in his grip than his slender frame would suggest. Call me Tarquin and consider me at your service. Remark that you think there's more to his story. He can trust you if there's something he wants to get off his chest. Say that you're letting matters lie for now, but you still have your doubts. Note that he seems to be a skilled craftsman. Is there anything he'd be willing to- <gasps> Let's trade! Yes! Oh, yeah. <laughs> okay. Velvet, whoa. All right, now let's offer the regular stuff. Get all of his- Oh, oh, oh. Oh, oh wait. Oh, but I have to sell this stuff first. Let's, uh, uh, accept this. And then let's click on him. Let's see. One-handed. Ooh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, Ooh, 26, 28. Look at all the, wow, look at all this stuff still going. Um, jeez. Oh, man. This is great. Yes. Oh, yes. Oh. I'm going to do all this stuff off camera, though, because this is... I take a long time deciding stuff I want to get. So yeah, I'll do that off camera. But it looks amazing. Oh, I can't wait. Oh, they have other stuff to sell, don't we? Yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, this? Oh, right. He doesn't have any cash. Yeah, we'll do that stuff, everything else off camera. This is great. This is great. All right. Remark that you th Oh, yeah, let's say this. If you ever want to get anything off your chest, you know where to find me. We're barely acquainted. Why should I tell you anything personal? Say that you're all in, a, you're all in the same boat, so to speak. I'd be better. It'd, it'd, it'd be better if you all knew you could rely upon each other. Remark that Dallas put him through a lot. If he wants revenge against her, then he'd be wise to be honest with his new allies. You could all help each other. We're all on the same boat. A fine sentiment. 
but I have nothing revolutionary for you. I am as you see me. Return to the other matters. Uh huh. All right. Fantastic. Everything's great. Teleport a pyramid. Hello. It doesn't. Oh. A oh, gold pile. Uh, thank you. Empty potion bottles. Those will be good for crafting. A letter. Mm -hmm. I wonder if I can sell him this stuff. Teleport a pyramid. Oh, oh, teleporter pyramids. You have just received a teleporter pyramid. These pyramids are linked to each other and all, and always come in pairs. I'll open your inventory and use the pyramid to teleport to its pair. Oh, interesting. Fail, file. Dusty tome. Ooh, what script is this? Whatever it is, it appears to be written in verse. Oh, <gasps> it's the book we need to. Oh yes, yes. That's the book we need. Oh, oh hey. This is uh. Oh, oh dang camera. This is. Oh, there we go. This is. Oh, it looks like. Uh, the picture in the menu of the game. If you want to play classic mode or the other mode. Whatever it is, I don't remember. Religious painting. Uh, uh. I gotta loot. I have to loot. I'm obsessed with looting. Ah, oh, my luck kicked in. Nice. Nothing there. Uh, take that. Nothing there. And a, ooh. Oh. Oh, Huntsman, finally. This guy needs... Oh. Oh. He's not in my party. <gasps> God. Let's take that book. All right. Oh, what's this? Fortify scroll. Oh, it's nice. No. No. Oh, oh wow. My luck kicked in again. A lot of good stuff. So the cat's not talking to me automatically. So let's talk to the cat. <laughs> I'm a monster! I click and clack as I stalk my prey. My tail rattles like a snake's. I suffer. Stroke the cat's head and ask it how it came to be undead. Ask the cat if it would like you to put it out of its misery. Ask if it's... Ask if it is Dallas's cat. Leave it to its lamentations. Well, we know why it came to be undead. Tamaran? Tamaran? Brought its life? No, I'm not gonna end its life. Ask. We know it's Dallas's cat. Leave it to its eliminations. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I need to get in there, though. All that treasure, it, it needs to be looted. Oh. Ah, oh, these bookshelves are amazing. They always have nice stuff. Memoirs. Hmm. This? I would even me meowed like a cat. Anything else to loot? Oh. Bed. Chest over there. I've spotted something. <gasps> you did. Oh, thank you. I could sell that. Sell that. I don't want any of that stuff. I wonder what he spotted. Oh, I don't have the guy. He's not going to get it open. Anyone have thievery? Oops. Zero. Zero. One? Yeah. I've been, been mezzed. Uh, has all the thievery stuff. Okay. Oh, let's auto sort that. Where is lockpick? Give it to low Sybil. Oh, 
lockpick. Oh, haha, <laughs> damn it. Hmm. He said he spotted something. Is it this? What did I just do? What was that noise? Wait. What the heck just happened? Oh, it's that. Um, get that thing. What is it? Oh, aha. Yes. Oh, yes. Very nice. Oh, look at all this stuff. That, want that, taking that. Oh, I thought that uh, it would tell me a story. Empty potion bottles, empty glass, glass. No. no, that's actually really cool. That's it? Uh, that's actually a little disappointing. Hmm. Can I leave from this side? Ah. Uh. Let's go upstairs. We have the book. Uh, do we have the book? Yes, sweetie. And I guess we're gonna talk to the mast to get the boat moving. Ship. Where is it? There it is. Look at this thing. This thing is really cool. This book is written in what appears to be an ancient dialect of the lizards. Its contents can be understood by few, but it might be possible to recite it phonetically. Right. Do I need to use the red prince for this? Oh, uh, don't burn me, please. <laughs> Before you is a towering figurehead covered in the likeness of a dragon. It looms out over the bow, its fangs bared at the open sea. Take a closer look at the details of the figurehead. Sing the song from the tome you found below decks. Lay your hand on the figurehead. Maybe. Maeve's warning is still fresh in your mind. You decide not to risk it and take your lead. We're gonna sing the song. <gasps> we leveled up! The deck beneath you groans and trembles like the ship itself. It oh, is awakening from a slumber. A deep sigh emerges, unmistakably the sound of a living, living being. The Lady Vengeance. Uh, a boat. Once again, I go to my default voice. You, you are not the witch. You are not Dallas. Actually, this is not my default voice. You sang the song. 
Now you must decide my fate. Are you to be my new master? Maybe I should be more dark of a voice. I don't know. Tell the ship that it is to do as you command from now on. Answer that you are no slaver. You wish for the ship to be free and hope that it will help you in return. Say that you want to know more about who or what you're talking to before you came to a decision. Uh, I am no slaver. You are free. You are kind, but I can never be free again. Not truly. I am a vessel and must be guided. Let me take you wherever you wish. We can depart as soon as you are ready. Say that you want to know more about the ship Take my leaf. Oh. The ship's awake. Good. Is she ready to sail? Tell my lady the ship is active and ready to sail. Say there's a few things you'd like to ask her. Be on your way. The ship is ready to sail. A slow, toothless smile stretches across her face. Toothless. Dangerous waters lie ahead. Be sure you've chosen keen travel companions, for this may be your last chance to change your party. Uh... What? Can I... I, I want to do stuff before we leave, though. Nod. Oh, to driftwood then. To driftwood then. Nod your ascent. It is time. Shake your head. You have unfinished business to attend to. All right, guys. The, uh, if you want, if you must. But do hurry. And so, I'm gonna call it. This is the end of the episode. Uh, I'm gonna sell a bunch of my stuff, level up my party. And uh, on the next episode, we'll, uh, well, well, I guess we'll be in Driftwood. Or at least on our way there. But, uh, hey, it's great. The, the mystery of the still ship has been solved. We did it. <sighs> uh, that's great. Happy. Happy times. Anyway, take care of yourselves. Hope you enjoyed it. Have many good ones. <laughs> and bye-bye. Bye. -bye. <laughs> bye.